All right, so for teaching the sit command, we're gonna bring our lure towards our body. Notice how he's using his front paws to try and get my hand. We wait for him to sit nicely. As soon as he does, we say good, and we release our hand open so that he can have the reward. So again, I'm gonna have a lure in my hand. If he's sitting already, I'm gonna to wanna to make him walk, and then I'll pull this up slightly, like towards my belly button. Notice how he's standing. I wait for the all four paws to get on the ground, then I say good and reward, okay? Now notice after a couple repetitions, He's already sitting because he knows that's what's getting him the reward. So again, like I was saying, you're gonna take your food lure in your hand, you're gonna force him to start walking to get up so that he has to reassume the sit position by slightly pulling the food up towards your belly button area and then say good and reward, okay? So you're gonna do this repetitiously. Good, right? That was a perfect repetition. So you're gonna do that repetitiously until that becomes super easy. Once that becomes super easy, you're going to take your empty hand next. You're going to do the same luring motion with an empty hand. Once he sits, you're going to say good. Then you reach back to your food rewards and then you give him a reward. Okay, so that's step number two. So empty hand, pull up, he starts sitting, good, then I reward. Okay, after you do repetitions of that, once that's super easy, super simple, now you're just going to pull your hand straight up without luring him, good, then you reward right here. Okay, so previously we had come down to his shoulder level and lured him up like this. Now we're just giving a very specific hand signal. Good, okay, without us bending over. We're gonna do that repetitiously. Good, until that's super comfortable with him. Once that's super comfortable, then we're gonna say our command first before we do the hand signal. Sit, good. And we're using classical conditioning to teach him the verbal command sit. Sit. Good. See how that works? So I have to have a slight pause between the word and the hand signal. Sit. Good. But notice all my other movements are basically the same. I'm backing up. I'm moving the same way as I was before. Sit. Good. Okay. Once we have that solidified, then we're just going to say the word by itself. Sit. Good. Notice we're still rewarding every repetition because we want this to be such a strong behavioral habit. I back up, sit, good. All right, and then once that's done, we're just gonna do sits randomly, sit, good. So we're not gonna be moving the same way that we were before, okay. Sit, good, okay. And then we're gonna stop rewarding so often, okay. Sit, good, okay. Sit, good, okay, sit, good. So notice on the third repetition, then I rewarded him. So you're gonna change up your rewards. You're gonna make it more randomized. And last but not least, if he doesn't sit, you're gonna give him some form of accountability, which could be a leash tug or a remote collar correction once you get to that point in your training progression, which I do recommend going and listening to podcast number 28 about training progressions. So if for some reason I were to ask him to sit and he didn't sit, I would say no, tug on the leash. Once he sat, then I would reward him and build up that. So repetition is going to be your friend, of course, with any obedience behavior, but um, with the sit specifically. Now, once we have the sit complete, then we're going to be going into the down command. Okay. So the way we start the down command, we take a food lure put it to his nose, start pushing towards the ground. Notice his elbows touch the ground. I say, good, I give him the reward. Okay. So we're doing the same process, but now we're just doing it with the down command. He's pretty comfortable sitting at this point. So again, I have a food lure. Notice I'm setting it up, him up good for the same position. So I kind of step forward after I did that down. I step back a little bit. He's staying pretty good with me because we have good engagement. And then I walk forward again. I want him here on my left side. Good. Again, repetition is going to be your friend. So the more repetitions I do, I'm just getting him comfortable with going down. I'm not asking him to down or anything like that yet. This is what we call muscle memory work, where I just take a lure and I just get him comfortable. Good. With laying down. Okay. Once that's complete, then we're going to do the same thing we did before. We have the empty hand. So we're starting to get rid of our lure. So just empty hand to the ground. Good. Notice my body staying in overall same position as it was earlier where I'm bent over for a small dog to reward right here. So if I stand up, that could trigger him to get up. 
So I want to try and help him maintain that down position. So again, I have my hand. I just push his nose towards the ground lightly. Good. I tell him that that's what I want by saying good. And then I get my food reward. I reward him right there. Okay. When I say okay, that means he is able to release from that command and move around. Notice in general, he's staying close to me, right? Staying on my left side. Good. Notice the elbows are up just a little bit. So whenever I actually have his food reward, I'm going to make sure that his elbows are on the ground before he can take it from my hand. So let's say he gets pretty good at that, right? We do lots of repetitions of that. The next piece is going to be uh, trying to just incorporate a hand signal. Down. Notice his elbows. Nope. Good. So notice I'm starting to already incorporate a little bit of accountability, right? And that's totally fine because he already has shown me that he's understanding the muscle memory of that down position. His elbows are just struggling to go all the way to the ground. Down. Notice the elbows. Nope. Good. So that's what I'm looking for, just light accountability. Okay to encourage that solid down command. Again, I'm pretty much doing the same thing in between repetitions where I'm just walking forward a couple steps, I'm backing up, I'm staying in the same general area. Right, that was a really good rep. Notice the elbows are a little bit elevated. I didn't catch that till I was already rewarding him, that's okay. Still a good rep overall. Notice I'm using the leash a little bit to help him, to help guide him to my left side because in the end I want him really comfortable with staying right here. Okay, no, good, good. Okay, then last but not least, we'll just make sure that he understands the down command by saying the word first and then doing the hand signal second. Down, good. Looking really solid, okay. Down, good. Okay, and again, repetitions are going to be your friend, and once this becomes comfortable, you're going to not reward all the time. Down. Good. Okay. Down. Good. Okay. Down. Good. Okay. Down. Good. So on that fourth one, we, we rewarded. And again, if he didn't do it, we would say no, give a little tug on the leash for our accountability. All right. So we've done the sit. We're doing, we've done the down. Once the down's comfortable, now we're going to be starting our stay command. Then go down, stay. Okay. So all we do for the stay, we've got duration, distance, and distraction. So duration, I'm going to be right next to him. Okay. I'm maintaining uh, my angle in relation to him the whole time and I'm just rewarding him for being comfortable in this down position, right? Notice how whenever I come down sometimes he wants to lift his elbows up. So I just make sure that his elbows are all the way on the ground before I let him have that food reward out of my hand, okay? And I'll be saying good to mark the behavior and reward him. Once he gets good with duration, meaning he'll stay right here for, you know, a minute or so, then I'll start distance work which will be, I've got the leash, I'm gonna take one step back, notice how he gets up. So I just bring him right back over here. Nope, little tug on the leash for accountability. I reward, okay, take a step back, good. Step forward, reward. Notice when I step back, I'm just taking a very small step back. I'm just getting him used to the concept of me moving away. In podcast 80, covers bulletproofing your stay command, okay? So I take a step back, good. Step forward, reward. Take a step back, good. Step forward, reward. Take a couple steps back. Notice he gets up, so I just come down here, give him a little leash tug, I say no. Then I go back to where I was, a couple steps back. Notice how he gets up a little bit. I wanna make sure he goes right back to where he was, good. Reward them right here. Little trick for dogs that are struggling to, uh, to stay where they're at. I'll put a couple pieces of food right between their paws as I step away. That helps get them used to me moving around, moving away while they're reinforcing themselves for staying there. Good. So this is the distance piece right here. I step back. So see how he gets up. 
use the leash, bring him back over here. Nope. A little tug down. I step back again. Good. Reward. Here's a little trick. Take a couple pieces of food reward, put it between his front paws. While he eats that, I move away. Good. Then I step forward again. All right. So that's the distance piece of working on a, on a stay command. Then we have the distraction piece, which is walking around him. That's the first step to distraction. So I'm kind of moving around, especially if he makes eye contact with me. I say, good. I step forward. I reward him right here. I step back. Again, I'm almost to the length of the leash, but the leash is still loose. I say, good. I step forward. Reward. Step back. Notice I'm almost behind him now. Let's see how he handles that. Good. Step forward. Reward. Step back. Walk him around to the other side. I swing his leash around. So I did that intentionally because uh, that is a factor of distraction is the leash swinging around you like this. Okay. Also the person being behind you. Good. But if he gets up, I'm just going to say no. Little tug. Take him right back to where he was and I just keep working this drill. Good. And again, I'm rewarding pretty frequently for right now because we're building up this behavior. Once it's built up, then we don't need to reward all the time. Good. So I just walk around. If he's making good eye contact with me or if he's maintaining that downstay, I'm going to say good. If he starts doing this, I'll just say no, little tug. He goes back down. Good. Okay. And that's the downstay right there. All right. And obviously, the more repetition and practice you put on this, the better. And then you're going to change up your distraction levels. Okay. So then we have our come command. And uh, actually, when we were working on our sit, we already were working on the foundation for the come. So again, I'll usually do this out of a down stay. So what I'll do is I have a food lure. I bring him out like that. Good. I reward him. So very similar to the sit command luring that we were doing. Down. Stay. Okay, so notice food, food reward right here. I get a little bit of that excess leash. I grab his nose, bring him to me. Good reward, okay? Also, so that's one way you can start it. The other way is he's sniffing around like this. You're just gonna slightly back up, reel him in with the leash. Good, okay? So there's two ways you're gonna be working on your, your come command because uh, he's not always going to be laying down, so you want him to get used to doing both things, right? Uh, so we'll be doing that repetitiously right here. Notice I just use the leash to start bringing him to me, and then once he starts moving to me, I lure him up to a sit, and then I say good and reward him. So once he's good with that, then all I'll do is I'll just use the leash to bring him to me, do my sit command right there, say good, reward. I can change position. Use the leash to bring him to me. Sit command right here. Good. Reward. Now I'm going to add the command on top of that. So I'm just going to say the word come before I initiate that movement. Come. Leash. Sit command. Good. Clack the leash. Come. Leash. Sit command. Good. Slack the leash. Come, leash, sit command, slack the leash. Good. So repetition is going to be your friend with that. And then you're just going to use the, the uh, come command uh, in the end. Come. Notice how he doesn't come, so I use the leash. Good. If he's a little bit sticky on that, I can help him through it. Okay. Okay. So he's kind of sniffing around. Come. Now he's coming right over to me. Good. Okay. He's sniffing around. Come. Good. So you can start to notice that he's starting to pivot and come towards me really quickly. We got Karen over here, the chicken. She's always in everyone's business. So uh, whenever we say the come command at this point, he's coming over pretty quick. So with that being said, now if he doesn't come, we'll implement a little bit of a leash tug and uh, we'll start to reduce the amount of rewards that we're giving him as well, okay? So if I want to see if he'll get a little bit distracted, I'll just kind of move in a certain direction. Okay, I'll wait for him to be sniffing. Come. Nope. 
Notice the little leash tug. Then he comes over. Good. Okay. So that was a no reward repetition. So now we're randomizing the rewards. And if your dog just won't just won't look away from you, you can just toss some food off to the side to get him a little bit distracted. And if he comes right back, you know, you're trying to work with uh, timing here. There we go. Come. Good. So you're going to have to play around with your timing and uh, try to get a scenario where he's a little bit distracted so that you can practice that. Okay, then we'll do a couple from a down stay. Down. Stay. Back up a little bit. Come. Good. So again, you want to practice from your dog up moving around, down, stay. And also you want to practice from a down stay position. Come. Good. Down. Nope. Good. Stay. Come. Notice he's sniffing a little bit. Nope. Good. So if they're sniffing on the way to you, you do want to correct that as well. Good. All right. So we covered the sit. We covered the down, the stay, the come command. We still got to get the healed going, which overall he's pretty good at staying with me. Okay. So we let him walk around whenever I'm getting a heel going. Notice how he's sniffing. I got a food lure right here. I can use the leash to guide him towards my, towards my uh, leg and I want to show him my hand. Once I show him my hand, then I want to start bringing my hand towards my uh, left side, right at his shoulder level. Good. I reward him right there. I want to maintain a nice steady pace. Notice how he's doing a pretty good job of uh, paying good attention to me. So I'm just trying to stay at a nice steady pace. If he's right here, I can just reward down my left side. If he goes off to the side and is sniffing things, then I'll just get my lure right here, use my leash to bring him to me. Once he's close to my left side, I want to be at his shoulder level so that his paws are on the ground. I don't want him jumping up because that's going to form bad habits. Okay, so that's how we start the, uh, the healing, right? Notice how he's jumping. I want those paws solidly on the ground. Good as I reward him right there. All right, once we have that pretty uh, comfortable with him, the muscle memory is done, we're going to start turns, okay? So once we start turns, I'll just hold the, the lure down my left side like this. And then as we start moving my body and turning, then we'll let him have the food reward. So let me do a right turn right here. So I turn to the right. Good. Once that turn's complete, then he can have the food reward. I'll do one more left turn to demonstrate. Food lure right here down my left side. Turn like this. I want all the paws touching the ground sol solidly. Good. Then I give him the food reward, okay? So that's how I'm going to get those turns done in the healing. Once he's comfortable staying right here on my left side, if he goes out, out of position, I'm just going to say no and give a little tug on the leash for going outside of that position. And then to get that automatic sit done, at first I'll just lure him to it. But because he already knows the sit command, I can just slow down, sit. Good. Okay. Heel. I start walking. And I'll slow down. Nope. Good. Okay, so after you do repetitions, that's what you'll be getting to, okay? So now, let's put it all together. How are we gonna maintain this? We're gonna maintain this with what we call the standard obedience drill. So that's gonna cover your healing, your sit, your down, stay, and come commands. I usually will start in the down stay. Nope, good, stay. So I'm gonna start off with healing, bingo, heal. I start walking, I want a nice loose leash. I'm gonna be randomly rewarding him for doing the right thing. Let me do a left turn here. So I'm gonna start turning left. He's maintaining pretty good position. Nope. If he starts sniffing the ground, I'm gonna say no. Let me do a right turn here. So I turn right. So whenever we're doing the standard obedience drill, I wanna practice turning left, turning right so that he can maintain that body adherence. I slow down and stop. Good. Once I stop, I wanna see him do that automatic sit. Bingo, down. Good, notice he need a little correction for the down command, no big deal, bingo, stay. Once I put him into a stay, I do wanna practice that walk around like we did earlier, except just a little bit more deliberate that time. Good, he did a good job maintaining that down stay. If he gets up like this, I just use my leash, I bring him right back over here. Nope, 
little correction to go right back down to where he originally was at. Okay? There has to be accountability for disobedience at this point, once we've done all that other work. Okay? Bingo, come. Then once we get the down stay done, we're gonna do the come command. Then let me show you a little trick. So if you've stuck with us this long, you're gonna see this little trick here. Now something that uh, is a big deal, especially to me, is when I'm ready to start healing again, the dog moves from in front of me to my side. So I can say bingo heal, use my hand, bring him to my side. That wasn't as clean as I like it. So that means we need to do some luring to make him a little bit better at it. So I have a little food lure right here. I show it to his nose. I bring him to my left side. Then I start walking. Okay, so that little movement right there can make a big difference in the long term. So let's practice this a little bit. So we just bring him to our left side. We start walking. Okay, let's do it again. Hello, Karen. Bring him to our left side. We could also just have him sit right here. The main thing is that he's moving from in front of us to our side, okay? Then we can start walking and he'll be right with us. Sit, good. So now I'm gonna put the command on top of that, heal. I say the word before I move my hand. Good, okay? Now I can start walking, all right, sit. Good, let's do it one more time with the food lure. Heal. Good, nice and smooth. Stay. All right, so again, let's try it without the food lure. Sit. Good. So notice, just like we did with the other commands, that was a little sloppy, not right, not ideal, but more repetition could help us. Okay, but overall not bad. Good, pretty good movement right there. Okay. Heel. Good. All right, let's do it again. So repetition is going to be your friend. Heel. Notice how he's not moving. Heel. Good. So obviously some more repetitions need to go into that, but that's how you would build that up following the same process we just showed you with all the other obedience commands. Right? Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the comments.